All right, so you've figured out how to trim your models and you're using your uh, 3D model software like Mesh Mixer. So now you want to figure out how to do the next level things. And to me in our office, the next level thing is adding Pontic teeth where they're missing so that you can fill them with either a composite resin, an acrylic, or a PVS material to add teeth where they're missing in a clear aligner. So let's show an example of how to add teeth to a 3D model. So here's a patient that is uh, missing both upper laterals and he's been prepped orthodontically and he's getting ready for implants. But of course he wants something to fill those spaces um, with his teeth while he's waiting. So an easy way to do this, normally we would just print up retainers. You can see we placed uh, a permanent retainer on back. Normally we would just uh, print up the models and make a set of clear retainers, but he also wants a set with some teeth in it. So uh, if you follow my instructions uh, below, you can see where to get a set of 3D teeth these teeth are phenomenal, and so far, as far as I can tell, they're no charge for them. But I definitely want to give a shout out to uh, Christian Brennis. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, for creating these teeth. And what you can see is not only are all the teeth there, but they're numbered, and there's a 3D model. So let's start with uh, tooth number seven. We'll run down to uh, tooth number seven here, and we'll just drag it onto the screen. And there's the tooth, and you can see it's kind of far away. So we're going to use the little triangles. Um, at the base here to start bringing the tooth closer to where we need it. These triangles are the giant movements and they're the ones you need to get kind of where you're at. So let's get closer with that tooth. Put it into position. It looks good from that angle. Obviously it's not ideal here. The single lines move in one vector, one dimension here. So um, as we're getting closer to that, you can see we've already got a great tooth shape. Let's just do some details and touch it up. Let's add a little tip in there. The last thing I would say is if we zoomed in a little bit closer, is to add a little bit of torque. Um, that'll get the root of that tooth out of the way um, so that uh, you can get a little better movement and or a little better positioning. And let's just drag it right over here. Now, one thing you will notice is um, if you're not getting those same movements I am, make sure you disable this checkbox right here. So you want it to be off. Um, if you enable snapping, what's gonna happen is you'll see the teeth move in these like millimetric movements. They're very kind of jittery. Um, and it's not a comfortable movement, especially when you're trying to get a, some sort of precision movement and placement of the teeth like I'm, like I'm working on here. So let's just say we wanna place it there. And again, we'll give a little bit of a tip to it. And let's see, do we like that position for a Pontic? Good, I like the gingival side. And basically what it's gonna do is it's going to print up with a tooth in that position so that when you do your suck down, you'll have a space and you can fill that with, like I said before, resin or PVS of your choice. Now, one thing you need to do is you need to look at the uh, object viewer. So what you'll see is there's two objects. There's the model of the teeth themselves and then there's the tooth. And what you want to do is join those up. So once you like the positioning of the tooth and you're ready to lock it in and I'm happy with that position, you would then highlight both of these and then you would go to combine. And those two models will now become one model. And you can see now I'm manipulating both of them together. And when I print, they'll both be together. Let's do the other side. Let's do uh, number 10. So again, we go back to the, uh, the mesh mix and you will uh, find tooth number 10 and drag it into position over here. And I have no idea what I did with that one. Oh, it's the positioning is funny. So let's actually, so my favorite tool in here is Control Z. Just undo it. I use Control Z when I'm using this software all the time. Let's try it one more time. We'll bring tooth number 10. Let's just put it on the screen over here. And let's bring it close enough into position. And you can tell it always looks like it's closer than it is. I have a feeling that's gonna be really high and Let's keep doing that in the position here until we're close enough that we can actually start dialing in some details. Good, here we go. All right, so we're in that position. Let's check the torque of the tooth. You can tell it's a little too upright, so let's give it a little bit of flare so it matches the teeth next to us, plus it makes that margin area uh, easier to contour in the clear retainer. Let's add a little tip on there and a little bit of extrusion. Um, and we're getting closer here. Let's keep checking it from the occlusal view. And how about a little rotation on there? And then let's bring it back just a little bit too. And um, keep checking on all the views. I think the torque is okay. I like how this is, even though it's probably a little over flared. Um, I like what it's gonna do. If you don't like that, you can certainly undo that. You can, you can add a little bit of uh, torque back. 
and just move it forward a little bit. I think I'll take that. I like that positioning. And let's check one more time. Maybe a little more uh, distal root tip and uh, and then maybe just a hair more intrusion. Great. So we got that same thing we did before. So now you can see on the object browser, we have two different 3D models. We're going to highlight both of them and then we're going to hit combine. And now we are just one model with all of those teeth on there. So that's how you would add a tooth to a 3D model. Again, check the uh, information below this video to learn where you can download for free a set of tooth models from, uh, from the uh, Christian Brennis. Uh, hope that helps and take care. Bye-bye.